Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial. In this video, we solve a problem from CSIR Net Mathematics, June 2023. Let us see the problem. Let u of x comma y, u of x comma y be the solution of the Cauchy problem u u x plus u y is equals to zero for all x belongs to capital R and y greater than zero. u of x comma zero is equals to x for all x belongs to capital R. Then which of the following value? Then which of the following is the value of u of two comma three? This is a question from section B which carries three marks. Let us see the solution. The given partial differential equation is u u x plus u y is equals to zero, and boundary condition is u of x comma zero is equals to x. Let it be equation number one. This will be equation number one. Comparing equation number one with standard form, with standard form, we know the standard form. P do u by do x plus Q do u by do y is equals to capital R. We get these values. P is equals to u, Q is equals to one, and R is equals to zero. Now the auxiliary equation is given by auxiliary equation is. dx by p is equals to dy by q is equals to du by r. This implies as this implies as dx by one, dx by u is equals to dy by one is equals to du by zero, du by zero. Now we solve this equation. Since du by du by zero implies as du is equals to zero, which implies as u is equals to a constant c one, arbitrary constant c one. Let it be equation number one. Now, by taking first two fractions of this equation, dx by u is equals to dy by one, which implies as dx is equals to c one dy. On integrating, we get x is equals to c one y. Plus c two and c one is equals to u. C one is equals to u by applying that condition. X is equals to u y plus c two. So therefore, you can write c two is equals to x minus u y, and c one is equals to x. C one is equals to u. C one is equals to u. Remember these two conditions. Now, by given data, the boundary condition is the boundary condition is u of x comma zero is equals to x. So put x equal to t. Put x equals to t. You get u is equals to t, and y is equals to zero. U is equals to t, and y is equals to zero by substituting x equal to t. So if u is equals to t, then obviously. U is equals to t implies as c one is equals to t, c one is equals to t, and put y is equals to zero, put y is equals to zero, then c two is also equivalent to x. C two is equals to x means, and we substitute this x is t, so c two is also equivalent to t. So this condition shows us both. C one is equals to C two is equals to T. Hence, hence, here you observe that C two is equals to x minus U y. C one is equals to U, and here we prove that C one is equals to C two. So we conclude that we conclude that U is equals to x minus U y because C one is equals to C two. This is C one, and this is C two. So implies as U plus U y is equals to x by making U common. U of one plus y is equals to x. U is equals to x by one plus y. So this is nothing but this is nothing but U of x comma y is equals to x by One plus y. Now the question is. Now the question is, u of two comma three. U of two comma three. Two by two plus two by one plus three. 
टू बाई वन प्लस थ्री सो दिस इज नथिंग बट टू बाई फोर दिस इज नथिंग बट वन बाई टू देर फोर यू ऑफ टू कमा थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू वन बाई टू दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर फॉर दिस वन आई यूज द जस्ट बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स एंड बेसिक मेथड टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन here the solution of the problem is 1 by 2 that's it go for it in the next video we solve one more problem from the same question paper